Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So today, it's all about crochet. I'm going to teach you a stitch tutorial. Now this is the uh, reverse diamond V stitch. Now it's very similar to the reverse V stitch. If you've seen that, there is a, just a slight change to make the V stitches um, come together at more of a diamond shape. But it's very beautiful. It's a nice thick fabric. Yes, it is a it is a yarn eater. I won't. I will not tell you it's not because it is. But it still is very very pretty, and it does look the same on both sides. Yeah, nice thick fabric it makes. You can see, great for scarves, blankets, tops. You know, whatever you want to make a warm warm sweater, anything like that. And it's very easy. It's just a one row repeat. So why don't we go ahead and get started, and we'll talk about the yarn that I use, and as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you look in the description box, you'll see a link to over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. So for this particular stitch, I used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, which is a uh, medium weight number four, 100% acrylic. The color I used is called Jazzy, and of course you can use any yarn that you wish, depending on whatever you're making. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. So the reverse diamond V stitch is done in a multiple of four plus two. So you start with a slip knot on your hook like this. And then you want to chain in multiples of four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Just like this. until you get whatever you're wanting to make as wide as you want it to be, whether it be a scarf or a big blanket, keep chaining in multiples of four. And once you get it as wide as you want it to be, add two more, one, two. So a multiple of four plus two. And we'll go ahead and start row one and we're going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook. So remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, this one right here, we're gonna put a single crochet in it. And then we're going to work across and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. So row one, one single in every stitch until you get to the end of your row. Just like that. All right, so once you make it to the end of row one, we'll go ahead and we'll start row two. We're gonna chain one and turn our work. So that chain one does not count as a stitch, doesn't count as anything. So we're gonna be working into this very first stitch right here, and we're gonna work a double crochet into that very first stitch. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip one stitch, skip this one right here, and the next stitch we're going to work two double crochets into that stitch. There's one and two, and then we're going to chain two, one, two, go back into the same spot and work two doubles. Now we'll start the repeat for row two. We're going to skip three stitches from now on. So one, two, three, and in the next stitch, we're gonna work this again. So skip your three, skip, 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 and the next one, we're gonna work two doubles. One, two, chain two, go back into the same stitch, and work two doubles again. One, two, repeat, skip three, skip, 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 and in the next, we work two doubles, chain 
chain of two and two doubles and we're going to repeat this pattern by of skipping three and then working two doubles chain two two doubles until we get to the last two stitches of our row all right i've made it here and i have two stitches that remain go ahead and skip one and put a double crochet into the last stitch and that will end row two that's what it looks like. So row three is the repeat row for the whole pattern. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Remember that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to go back into this very first stitch here, this double crochet from the previous row, and we're going to put a double crochet in it. Just like that. Now we're going to be working in these these little uh, V stitch things here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a triple crochet and I'm sure gonna, we're going to work in this spot below where we put this V stitch. See that? So yarn over twice like you're going to do a triple crochet. We're going to go into this spot and then put your hook through the space, that chain space, grab your yarn and then pull it back down through like that like that and then go ahead and do your triple crochet like you normally would see that now we're going to work into the chain two space and work one double crochet a chain of two and another double crochet into that space. And then we're gonna work a triple crochet again, back into that same spot, the exact same way we just did it before. So we're gonna yarn over twice, go back into that space, and back through where this chain two space is here. Grab your yarn, pull it back, and triple crochet just like that and that is what we're going to do on each one of these v-stitch spaces here <clears throat> excuse me for the entire row let's do it again so we're going to jump over here to the next one and we're going to yarn over twice like for a triple crochet and we're going to go down here where these uh, went into the stitch, go back up through the chain two space, and then pull your yarn through and do a triple crochet. That. And then we go into this chain two space and we do one double, chain two, and then another double. And then we're going to do the triple crochet again into the same spot. So we're going over twice, go back into that same spot, up through back through that same spot and up through that space there. Grab your yarn, pull it through and do your triple crochet. It's not hard at all. It's not hard. You'll get it's just that the second one's a little awkward, but after you get used to it, you'll be flying through. Again, we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to yarn over twice, go through this space, back up through this chain space, grab your yarn and pull it through, and then go ahead and do a triple crochet, just like you normally would. And then in the chain two space, we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. And then we're gonna do the triple crochet again in the same spot, just like we did it before. Grab your arm, pull it through, and triple crochet. 
just like that. Now we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of a row and we do it, do it at each one of these uh, V stitch spaces from the previous row. Alright, so I've come to the end and I just did my last triple crochet here on this V stitch, v -stitch spot. And what I'm going to do is put a double crochet into the top of my last stitch and that will end the row. Just like that. So that's what it starts to look like. All right, and what we're going to do is repeat that. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to start off by putting a double crochet into the very first stitch. Now, the only thing that's different from now on is where we put our triple crochets before we put it down here. Now we're going to put it in the next row, which is the row below, which is right here, where we put the two double crochets from before this chain two spot. So we're going to yarn over twice, like a triple crochet, go through this chain two spot from the previous row and back up through the chain spot chain two spot and triple crochet like that and then in this chain two space here we're going to do our double crochet chain two and double crochet like that and then we're going to go back through this spot down here again and do another triple. So we yarn over twice, go back through that spot and up through this spot, chain two spot, grab your yarn, pull it back through and triple crochet like normal. Just like that. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way across. So it's the same thing that we just did, just putting the uh, triple crochets in the chain two space, two rows below. Yarn over twice for the triple, go through this chain two space here, back up through this chain two space, grab your yarn, pull it through, do your triple crochet, and then into this chain two space, we do our double crochet, chain two, double crochet and then we want to do our last triple in the same spot so yarn over twice go through that spot and back up through this spot grab that yarn and pull it back through and triple crochet there we go easy peasy once you get the hang of it repeat it again yarn over twice it's like you're gonna do a triple go to through this chain two spot, back up through this chain two spot, grab your yarn, pull it back through, triple crochet, this chain two spot here, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then we do our triple again, yarn over twice, and we go to the same spot we made our last triple. Just like that so we're just repeating what we did before every row is just a repeat you will always go into that chain two space from now on on each row when you do your triple crochets and when you get to the end you always end in a double crochet make it to the end here and double crochet into the last stitch just like that chain one turn and repeat again. We just keep repeating that back and forth, back and forth until you get it as large as you want it to be. And after a few repeats, it starts to look like this. I think it's really cool. I like it. Um, if you want to end it here, uh, put a clean edge at the top, I would recommend just a single crochet. I already clipped my yarn, but chain in one turning 
and then single crocheting into every stitch cross this is what I would do to clean up the top edge one single crochet into the chain two space another single crochet into the chain two space and then just work across putting one single crochet in every stitch like I said I already clipped my yarn but that's how you get a straight edge across once you're done one single crochet in every stitch and two single crochets in each of the chain two spaces and that would make it straight all the way across but that's it i hope that you enjoyed my tutorial i hope you're able to follow along okay now if you make something with this stitch i think it's gonna be you know it would make a really cool super super cool scarf uh blanket nice nice warm thick blanket um bath mat something like that a piece you know nice cotton yarn whatever you make you can show me a picture on my bag of day crochet facebook page um I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, what you might make with this. Or what you would make with it if you do, if you were going to use it. But that's it. Until next time, have a good day. Bye, guys.